Astra, are you done? Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you can tell from the title, we're finally continuing this long Astro. <laughs> finally continuing the Dude. <laughs> we're finally continuing this little like mini series thing. Because I love to talk about video games more than anything in the world and storytelling and all that stuff. So here we are. Today we're doing Batman Arkham Knight because that is the next game that I played on my channel. So Batman Arkham Knight was the next game that I played um, following Uncharted 4. Why I didn't play Arkham City next, I don't know, but here we are. Yes. So, Batman Arkham Knight. <laughs> Let's just go through the plot synopsis first. Or mine, at least. So it takes place about a year after Batman Arkham City. And if y'all don't already know, which I don't know why you'd be watching this video if you didn't already know, Batman Arkham City... In Batman Arkham City, the Joker dies. Um, spoiler alert. So basically, Batman Arkham Knight takes place a year after that, and Bruce slash Batman kind of regrets letting him die. And he does talk about that a little bit, but whatever. What happens, like, Gotham has had, like, pretty much, like, peace. Like, they've been chill ever since the Joker died because people don't know what to do with themselves, right? And so, randomly, the Scarecrow, which we haven't seen since Batman Arkham Asylum, which takes place, I think, like, three years before the start of Arkham Knight, I don't remember the timeline exactly, so I apologize for that. He threatens to kill the whole city, and he says, you can evacuate, but this is your only warning. Gotham, this is your only warning. And basically the whole city's bare except for all the bad guys. Batman has to figure out how to stop him, and he's working with this unknown character called the Arkham Knight, um, mm. which you don't know who he is at the start of the game, you do at the end. Um, and I'll get into that more, trust me. Basically, you have to stop him before he destroys the whole city and all the people who are left in it. It's a classic Arkhamverse video game. So we are joined back again with the classic voice actors, which I talked about in my Arkham Asylum video, which I will link at the end of the vi this video. So the voice actors we have back are uh, Kevin Conroy, who voiced Batman and Bruce Wayne in the animated series, and he's also in Arkham Asylum, which I talked about. And he's also in Arkham City. And then we're also joined again with Mark Hamill as the Joker. <laughs> and you're like, what the hell? So the Joker comes back as kind of like, like, okay, so in the very beginning of the game, um, Batman is exposed to fear toxin, or Scarecrow, <laughs> is trying to do in the city. So his very first attack, which would have overtaken the city, Batman stops him, but he does get exposed to the fear toxin that he produces. And in effect of that, or as in effect of that, whatever, I can't speak, he sees projections of the Joker, which is kind of like an embodiment of himself he kind of sees as. It's complicated. This game is fun. <laughs> it's a very classic Arkham verse game. Um, so you have the like side missions going on, which Arkham Asylum did not have. Um, but Arkham City did. This one kind of like extends off of, not like story-wise or anything, but like it takes the side missions from Arkham City and kind of makes them better in Arkham Knight. It has you trying to stop Scarecrow um, from taking over the city and he has this adversary. That doesn't make any sense. He has this like sidekick sort of um, and he hires this guy named the Arkham Knight and throughout the whole, like the first time you meet him, he kind of has something against Batman. And you don't really know what it is because he doesn't make any clue as to who he is. It's not until like 80% into the main story that you find out that he is, spoiler alert, oh my god, why am I forgetting his name? So it turns out the Arkham Knight is actually Jason Todd, who we all thought was killed at the hands of the Joker. Which if you don't know the classic storyline, in the comics, and in, there's a cartoon movie about it too, which is very good by the way, you should watch it. Jason Todd was the was the second Robin after Dick Grayson. After Dick Grayson had left and become Nightwing in Bloodhaven, Bruce found this kid named Jason Todd. And um, after being Robin for a time, I don't know how long it was, Jason decides to go and take on the Joker by himself. After Batman t tells him, hey, don't do it, it's not a good idea. He goes anyway and um, basically gets tortured and killed by the Joker. The Arkham Knight is revealed to be Jason Todd, and here's my issue with that. It was so obvious that it was Jason Todd <laughs> from the beginning of the game, because before the game even released, if you pre-ordered the game back in 2015, it came with four expansion story packs. A Catwoman one, a Harley Quinn one, 
a Robin one, and a Red Hood one. And also a Batgirl one. Sorry, this is me editing and I totally forgot about it. So, sorry Batgirl. And anyone who's anyone who knows about Batman knows Red Hood is Jason Todd after coming back to life. It's like, why are you bringing Red Hood here? Because we need to never even mentioned him before. So, but why all of a sudden would they bring the Red Hood into this if he's not a part of it? So it was just, it was really shady. Um, and everyone's like, okay. And then this new character who was new for the games, because the Arkham Knight doesn't exist in the comic books at all, comes forward and is like, I'm the Arkham Knight. And it's like, it doesn't make any sense, you know? Because they kind of reveal what they were doing before the game even came out, and that just, it would have been a good twist. Other than that, the plot was okay, it was just a basic Arkhamverse storyline, nothing really original. It kind of repeated Arkham City, honestly, but one of the cool new things that this game introduced um, was the Batmobile, which was a big deal at first, but something I didn't personally like was how much the game depended on the Batmobile in certain areas. Like, there, you're probably in the Batmobile for the main missions for a good, like, half of the game, I think. I don't know if it's exact, but you know what I mean. And it's not... <laughs> it's fun. The tank battles, I think, are fun. But near the end, it just kind of becomes, like, like the game's becoming dependent on it and it doesn't really make any sense. I don't know. I didn't really like that part of it. And the storyline, again, was rehashed as a pretending to be something new and it really wasn't. But it did close up the whole, like, Arkham verse story together, if that makes sense. So, they did a good job on the ending there. Yeah. <laughs> so my overall rating of this game would be an 8 out of 10. And the only reason I do that is because, like I said, like, 20 seconds ago, they kind of rehashed the story of Arkham City a little bit. And the Batmobile wasn't really fun <laughs> all the time. When you first get it, you feel so badass. But after being there and being as it forever, you're just like, okay, I'm done here. Now, overall, this is a fun game. It's fun to be a part of it. It's fun to be in Batman, voiced by Kevin Conroy, dealing with the Joker somehow. I'm not going to reveal how that really happens. Oh, I already did. Duh. This game is really fun, and if you like Batman at all, go for it. And the... The game is physically beautiful. I don't know. The animation for it, I don't remember what it's called, sorry. It is really beautiful and... What? Can you hear me knocking? No? Oh my god, What? Anyway, this is an overall good game and I will... I don't really have anything bad to say about it. Just, I wish they kind of revamped some things as a trilogy, but it's overall is a good game, <laughs> I promise. So that's all I have for today. So thank y'all so much for watching this review. The next review coming out should be Arkham City, I think. I don't fucking know. Middle of editing all of my Spider-Man games, so those should be coming out one after another after another every couple of days or so, because um, my Wi-Fi sucks, so sorry. <laughs> but yeah, I hope y'all enjoyed this, and let me know what y'all think in the comments below. Like and subscribe, all that bullshit. I don't fucking care. Y'all are awesome. Love y'all for watching. Um, y'all are cool. Whatever. Um, see y'all next time. So I can't wink. Oh my god. See y'all next time. Deuces.